Okay, this is another one on the Honeywell fan and limit switch. Uh, used so oh, for a number of years, pretty much stopped using them around 1990. Uh, this one has a specific part on it, uh, but this has a preheater on it. So let's take a closer look and see what we have here. Okay, a uh, little closer here. This is a normal Honeywell fan and limit switch with a limit switch on one side and a fan switch on the other and a spiral uh, bimetal that uh, moves the switches. But this one has two wires coming right here. Now I'm going to pull those wires off so you can see where they actually hook up there. Okay, the wires are taken off and you can see these two terminals right there. Those go to a heater. Okay, what I've done is put an ohmmeter across those two terminals. And you notice I'm reading 26, 268 ohms, which is a very, very small heater. But I do show continuity through it, so I know the heater is there and is good. So the heater is going to uh, turn the fan on a little bit early, and then when the air, the cold air that's in the return, kind of shocks this thing as it, as it uh, comes back, the return air, you know, is going to be cold. And when the furnace, when the furnace first starts up, the return air is going to be cold. And so the fan switch has come on, but oftentimes the enough cold air comes in to kind of shock that switch and actually turn it down enough to shut it off. You've got to set maybe 140 and 110 or 100, uh, 140 and 100, something like that. And sometimes it'll shock it and turn it off. So they put a little heater in there, and that heater simply warms the bimetal up a little bit so it won't do that. And it's a, it's a short cycle issue. Um, it's not the worst thing that can happen to your furnace, but it does, it does affect the operation of the furnace. So if you have that two set of terminals, in other words, there'll be six wires going on this thing instead of three or four, uh, then you have that heater and you might want to take your own meter and test the heater and be sure it works if you're getting a short cycling problem. So that's just a little heater. Uh, a number of these different fan switches have these things on them. Uh, not just the Honeywall or some others have the same thing on them. But uh, that's the uh, preheater for the Honeywell fan switch.